Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If it's your first time, you're welcome. My name is Dolapo of Dolby Crafties, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make the body ruffle turban. And if you are here to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button to join the family and select the option to receive all notifications so you get notified whenever we upload tutorials on this channel. So for this project, I'll be using this fabric called crepe. It's called crepe and it is stretchy. You can decide to use any fabric of choice. Yes, I have my scissors, I have my bias tape, measuring tape and um, chalk to mark. And we're just going to proceed to the cutting of the pieces required for this turban. So as usual, the turban is divided into two parts, the band and the body. Okay, this small piece is for the band and it measures about 4.5 inches, not exactly up to 4.5, about 4.2 by the head circumference, 23 inches. So please work with your own head circumference. While the body of the turban measures 36 inches length, it could be actually from 30 to 36, depends on how, I mean, how you want your turban to drop at the back. Then the length I have here is 45 inches. It could be up to 50, it could be lesser, it could be like 36, between 36 to 50 inches. It depends on how much you want the depth of your turban to be. You will notice some joining on my fabric. I am actually using one yard of fabric and you know a yard is 36 inches by 60 inches. So the 60 inches part of this fabric is the stretchy part and I had to just cut the head circumference part from that side. So I didn't have enough length of 45 inches after doing that so i had to do some joining now from the upper part of the body of the turban i marked half an inch this is actually the allowance required for me to join the band and the body of the turban together so that's half an inch after that mark i marked another half an inch okay so it means i have two marks there half an inch and another half an inch so from the second half an inch mark i marked 2.5 inches okay 2.5 inches the first mark is half an inch for us to join the band and the body of the turban together the second half an inch is required for us to proceed then 2.5 inch mark next so after the 2.5 inch mark i marked another half an inch so i'll be doing 2.5 inches next so the procedure is this you mark half an inch then the next mark will be 2.5 inches the next one will be half an inch the next one will be 2.5 inches like that till i exhaust the fabric i hope you get it if you don't understand i would like you to watch this part again okay you understand so i'm going to mark that down till i get to the end of the fabric i come to this side and do the same Come to this other side and do the same then join the point together with a ruler so as you can see that is done this half an inch mark i'm touching is the allowance required to join the band and the body of the band together and then this is what we are going to be doing i'm going to skip the first half an inch mark okay and pick the fabric from the second half an inch mark so i pick the half an inch mark and the next 2.5 inch mark and i fold this way as you can see Now I'm going to stitch from one end like that to the other end using a straight stitch. As you can see, I've stitched. I'm stitching on the right side of the fabric. All my markings are actually on the right side, okay, so that you can see. Now I'm going to move on to the next half an inch mark and pick it together with the 2.5 inch mark. And I'm going to stitch like that from one end to the other end. I'm going to proceed like that till I finish up or I exhaust the fabric. I pick the half an inch mark and the 2.5 inch together, fold it upward and I'll stitch from one end to the other end. As you can see, this is all done. And this remains the right side of the fabric, like I said earlier. When I flip over, this is the wrong side. 
this is where I had my joiners, okay? I'll be weaving the edges if I were to make this for a client, okay? But for the purpose of this video, I'll just proceed to the next step, okay? Now, I'm going to join the body of the turban to the band. This is the band. And I'm going to fold into two. Fold into two again to get the midpoint. Then I notched. I'll fold the body of the turban into two as well and notch the midpoint, okay? Then I'm going to proceed to join them together. I place the body of the turban this way. I just fold into two and place it this way, middle to middle. And I'm going to sew from the center to my right and from the center to my left. As you can see, that is done. The next step is for us to create our body ruffles. But I'm trying to measure what I have and what i have is over 30 inches i decided to reduce it so that i can have 30 inches as a length of the body of the top and that's the head circumference part so i just cut off the excess so i can have exactly 30 inches yes 30 inches as the head circumference part of the body of the turban. Now to create the body ruffles, I have my bias strip and I'm going to be using this for the purpose. Before we proceed to the next step, I will advise you to weave the edges of your fabric at this point. Yes, please don't forget to do that. It's better. So I'm going to cut out the length required for my bias strip, which is 24 inches. I'm using 24 inches for mine. If you want yours to gather much, you can reduce it to about 23 inches or even 22 inches if you want it to ruffle more i'm using 24 inches for mine with the help of a safety pin i'm going to start with the first casing i'll insert my bias strip into the first casing of the body of the turban okay from one end like that, I just insert it and I'm going to use my office pin to hold it down on one end so that the basket doesn't fall inside before I proceed. Okay, I'll just push it in a little bit, then use my office pin to hold it down on this end before I proceed. Now so continue to push the bias strip through to the end, to the other end using the safety pin. And I'll use my office pin to hold it down there as well so that it doesn't fall back inside. Now I'm going to cut out more bias strips. Of the same measurement of 24 inches and i'm going to insert each of them into the casing we have on the body of the turban as one after the other okay i'll just keep on using my office pin to hold them down so i've done that like that as you can see all through and look at our body ruffles i have taken off the pins and i have secured the bare strip to the edge of my turban body as you can see now i'm going to fold into two I fold into two and I'm going to stitch from here by half an inch. I'll just stitch like that this way, all the way down and stitch this way. Then I'll go ahead and sew loose stitches, okay, just like we normally do, just to gather the back of the turban, okay. I'll just gather it up with my needle and thread. I'll tack, I'll pull it together, tack and back stitch. Ensure you back stitch. It's always good to backstitch so as to keep your gathers in place, okay? So I will do all that and I'll show you the final look.
Oh yes, now you know how to make a body ruffle to turban, right? So if you try out any of this project using my video illustrations, you can post it on any of your social media handles, either Facebook or Instagram, and tag me at Dolly B Crafties. You can as well join our Facebook group at Dolly B Crafties online and post any of your projects. I would really, really love to see them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me share with others. Leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that yet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.